Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I've got an exciting one today. It is a luxury thrift haul, charity shop haul. Bit of vintage in here and a bit of eBay too, but everything I'm going to be showing you is designer items and they're also all second hand. So I've been collecting up these bits over the past few weeks and months actually so I've just got a few bits here that I haven't shown you yet I thought I'd put them separately and do them all combined to make this a bit of a luxury designer haul all second hand so I hope you enjoy it it's a little bit different I have treated myself to a few nice bits I have something from Louis Vuitton I have some Ralph Lauren, I have some Russell and Bromley, I've got some, well I've got a bit of High Street in here as well, <laughs> it's not all designer, I've got a little bit of homeware, um, yeah a bit of everything to show you, so should we get started with, oh actually first I think I need a quick sip of the coffee because I need to calm myself down, I'm very excited to share these bits, I have got this mug on the go that Kate bought for me, you may have seen our recent vlog, in Norwich and this is a Starbucks mug and it is the Netherlands Starbucks mug. I love the design of this. I think I like this side the best with the orange um, tulips on it and yeah let me know in the comments if you're watching from the Netherlands. I know some of you are so yeah do say hello and let me know where you're watching from and actually I'd like to know where you're all watching from. Do remind me because it's been a while since I asked you that question so yeah let me know down in the comments where you're watching from and have you got a drink on the go. We'll have a quick sip. I've made it very hot. I've got a toffee nut latte in here and that is divine. Um, right let's get into it. I'm so excited to show you these bits. I have added to my Louis Vuitton collection. I've been on the hunt for something to replace my makeup bag that you may have seen me take on my travels. I take it filming with me and it was, I think it was £1.50. It's a fake little pouch um, that I bought in the charity shops. I've used it to death and it started just to get a bit scratched on the corners and it's not the real deal. So I've been keeping my eyes peeled for an authentic replacement. I think I've said this before, but when it comes to things like shoes, um, bags, accessories, I find that if I have something that I use a lot, that maybe I've bought from the high street or bought cheaply from the boot sale or second hand, using it a lot then kind of makes me think if I buy the designer version of it, kind of like the original version or you know the premium version, I know I'm then going to get my use out of it. So it's kind of tried and tested already, if that makes sense. Listen to me trying to justify another Louis Vuitton purchase. <laughs> I had a look on eBay. I've been keeping my eyes peeled. You can set alerts as well, can't you? Um, and I think you can do that. Can you do that on Vinted too? I know you can do it on Gumtree. Um, but yes, I've been keeping my eyes peeled anyway. Scrolling for um, secondhand clothing now has become a little bit of an addiction for me. I like to do it when I'm on the train or, you know, just killing a bit of time. I have a little look. So I spotted this on eBay and it was, um, the starting price was £100. So it is the small-ish um, makeup pouch or cosmetic pouch. And yeah, just a classic design, very similar to the one that I was using already, the fake one. Um, but this is the real deal. I had a good look at the listing and it went into quite a lot of detail as to when this was originally purchased. So it's a vintage piece. Let me just um, get the original listing up so I can read to you a little bit um, about why I went for this one. So when I look at um, listings for designer pieces on eBay, I do love it when they tell you a little bit about um, the history of an item, where they got it from, whether it was an unwanted gift, that sort of thing. Um, this one is vintage, so it dates back to 2006. And yeah, it's just been listed as the brown leather monogram cosmetic pouch and it also has the um, number on it as well. So really lovely. You can tell that these are authentic and um, particularly when the monogramming is completely symmetrical. So we're looking for symmetry across and also top right the way around. So you're matching, you're looking for that again. You go all the way around and it will be on the same side. Same here, diamond to diamond. On the underneath, you've got the LVs all nicely lined up. So that is where we know, um, generally speaking, that we're not 
um, buying a fake. Often with reproductions, they'll they'll just use the kind of um, leather or the canvas in in any way when they're producing these items, so that often these things will not be symmetrical. The good fakes, yes, they might be, but also with this came the original paperwork. So if ever you're buying a designer item or um, you know, if you've bought one brand new and um, you're keeping the box and stuff, I'd always recommend keeping the box and also keeping your original documentation because it means that when you come to sell it, you can prove that it is authentic. And a lot of the um, selling sites are now asking for that level of detail. Look at, I mean, even just the paper, <laughs> it's so nice. So this was purchased in the uh, tw 2006 on the 18th of December, I love the detail you get with some of these. Oh, and it's called um, Pochette Cosmetics. So there we go. Um, that is the name of it. And back then, it cost £120. Is that pounds or is that euros? Yeah, that's pounds. And then it had some VAT on there as well. So it, it totaled at £130 um, back then. So there we go, and it was bought in the UK. It doesn't say um, which shop, I don't think. Sometimes I've had items that have been bought overseas. It even has the little card in here. I mean, it's just so nice that the um, person selling this has looked after it so well and kept all of this information. And then it's even got like the T's and C's and stuff. It probably tells you in here, um, like about getting it fixed and stuff like that. It does actually talk about um, the damages and things like that. So I'm actually gonna have a good read of this and just see um, what it actually says. Cause I know that Louis Vuitton do fix things if they're broken, but I think it's only if they're broken through kind of um, wear and tear as opposed to damaged. Um, but I, I must get my other wa wash bag um, fixed, the larger one. I still haven't got around to doing that. But yes, very happy with this. A really good price for it. It's also got the dust bag with it and the ribbon. So it's been kept really well. And I'm just gonna start using this so I will replace the one that I have and begin using it. I love the boxes. Look at the box with the, um, it's even got like the little fabric bits in there that would um, probably have the ribbon on to then tie it into place. Love that. Might stick that on the shelf because I just think it looks nice. Um, so very pleased with my purchase. The bid started at I think £100 and I bid up to 150 I didn't do a last minute bid or anything like that. I was the first person to bid on it. Actually I think it was £99. Um, so yeah I was happy just to kind of go in there, show my interest and then obviously a few other bids came in and then um, yeah my, my 150 obviously was enough to not, not get outbid. Um, but that was kind of the price point that I was sort of willing to pay. I probably would have gone a little bit higher for something like this. These retail now, I must check actually, but I think they'd probably be four or five times the price of what I paid for it. And I do like the vintage ones. The zip has discolored slightly, but I think that's absolutely fine. And this leather here, when you buy them new, it's a lot paler, but when it ages, it develops into this beautiful um, tan colour. And I have the hold all, I have the wash bag, you may have seen my previous um, Louis Vuitton buying videos. I'll link that one um, if you'd like to watch it. And in that one I also talk about how I wash them. So if you want to give them a little um, polish, it's very simple. I just use water wipes, like baby wipes, but just the pure water ones. And that does the trick um, really well. So yeah, very happy with that and um, expanding my collection. So I've got the passport holder and also my little wallet. I've got everything secondhand apart from the passport holder. Um, so my collection hasn't cost me too much money at all. And I think with Louis Vuitton, I tend to go for the classic um, monogram print and it does retain its value. Um, if anything, it will go up in value. So nice little investment too, but I just love them to use them. And I'll speak about that more in my Louis Vuitton video, so yeah, I'll link that one for you. On to some homeware. Can we call this homeware? I'm not sure. I bought some towels in trade. Um, a bit of an unusual thing to buy in the charity shops. I do often look at the bedding and towels, so I feel like they get overlooked. And sometimes you can find some lovely quality pieces, and often brand new. Can you hear the airplanes? 
I'm filming this at evening time. I'm filming it on a Saturday night. I'll be watching Strictly soon. And it seems like, yeah, it's that time when the um, planes are coming into land um, and flying overhead. So anyway, these towels, I picked up two of them. They're brand new. They still have the tags on them. So they've got the tag from Trade here. So these were priced at $7.99. They're a bath towel size, but they are um, Ralph Lauren, and these are made in the USA, 100% cotton. I know that um, when I've been to the US, Ralph Lauren Home is a lot cheaper over there than it is in the UK. I don't know if that's still the case, so maybe someone bought some over there, bought them home with them, sort of thing I would do. <laughs> um, getting that kind of discount, that cheaper price, and then maybe it just sat in a cupboard and never got used. But yeah, it's got the original kind of barcode sticker on here. Um, and it says Royal Crest White Bath Towel. And then here it has the tag on it. So it doesn't have a price, but it does have the original barcode on there. And then it has this crest design on the front here. Now the crest, to me, looks a little bit scruffy. <laughs> so I don't know whether these were seconds, perhaps. I'm not sure, the kind of, the threads are coming loose a tiny bit, I don't know. Maybe not, but to me it looked a little bit like not quite perfect. I don't mind. I'm going to pop these in the washing machine. They feel lovely and soft. And yeah, I've got two of them. I just thought they looked really nice and rather posh with the crest on them. So yeah, I thought for $7.99 each, they were a good bargain and they should be lovely quality. They feel really nice. So yeah, I've got two of those. I have to get rid of some towels now. One in, one out and all that. So I'll be taking some down to, I think the best place to donate them actually is the um, cat rescue or um, a pet rescue place. They'll often take in towels, won't they? Um, next up, I got a couple of ties with the NTAs in mind and I ended up wearing one that I had already just because I thought it was more appropriate. But while I was out and about, I did pick up some ties. Now this one, I picked up in the trade sale. It was originally priced at $15.99 in trade. It's a Hugo Boss tie, as you can see, and it still has the original tag on it, so brand new. And I think I got this when everything had gone down to four pounds for kind of any items that weren't jackets and things. It's kind of like they have an everything else category of which ties are included. And yeah, I just thought for a lovely silk tie and a designer one at that, that was a really good price. And I quite like this design, it kind of feels quite retro. Um, it's just very simple stripe through it, kind of very office worker to me, but <laughs> I thought um, there will be an occasion where I'll wear that. I think I probably would wear that to a wedding or something like that. So I just thought that was great. And then I also picked up another tie, again in the trade sale, it's another um, Hugo Boss tie. So perhaps the same person donated both. And this one I was quite tempted to wear to the NTAs. I just thought it looked really kind of premium and um, quite expensive. It's kind of like a goldy brown. So I love the colours in this, but it just didn't quite go um, with the outfit that I had. But I'll definitely wear this with something in the future. I just think that looks really um, luxurious. It's almost kind of Louis Vuitton vibes, isn't it? With the um, print on there. But yeah, this is Hugo Boss, originally priced in there at $29.99 and again, this was something that I picked up in the trade sale when everything was reduced. So I got another bargain with that one. And yeah, I think that would look nice. What color suit would you wear with that? I'm thinking maybe like a um, caramelly or beige suit, I think would look really nice with that. Um, yeah, not like a black one that I was wearing for the NTAs. So this isn't designer, but I thought I'd include it because I think it looks quite premium. Um, this is a little, vintage purchase. I think this was six pounds if I remember correctly. And it's a River Island top. I put it in a size large. And yeah, just really nice with the stripes. And then a very simple zip up front and collar. And probably a bit out of season now, but I just thought that was such a nice summer top. To me, this looks more like um, something from Reese, I think. And I do think this looks quite designer as well. So it looks um, a little bit more expensive, I think, than, well, definitely more than the six quid that I paid for it. But River Island Tops, what would that have been? Probably 35, I would imagine. 
um, if it was brand new. But yeah, just really like the detail on that. I like the um, kind of piping on the arms. I like the different textures. I like the ribbing on the sleeve. Um, it all just makes it a little bit more expensive looking. And it's got a bit of stretch to it as well, which I always love. This is 100% um, cotton. So there we go. Very pleased with that too. And then I've got some new shoes. I say shoes. They're borderline, I don't know what you'd call them. They're borderline a slipper or a mule. <laughs> so they're these Russell and Bromley shoes. They're absolutely beautiful. So they're just like a slip on. They look a bit like my Gucci loafers actually. They've got the um, horse bit across here. Really lovely soft leather, um, leather inner as well. Um, hardly worn, the seller said that they'd worn them once I think. Um, perfect size and these were £35 and I think these retail still on the um, Russell and Bromley site I think they're £195 so a really lovely quality shoe and something a bit different I think these are perfect for holidays for summer evenings if I was going on a cruise um, and you just want to kind of look smart but also kind of a bit more relaxed a bit more low-key so I'd probably wear these with like some white trousers or maybe even some linen trousers would be quite nice with these, I think. Just something slightly more relaxed, but then it's kind of quite formal to go into the evening. And also, you know, if you were like by a beach or something, really easy to kick them off. If you just wanted to go for a little paddle or something. I just think they're really stylish. And yeah, a little bit different, but very pleased with them. And a total bargain as well. They feel like such lovely quality. I mean, if you were a little bit posh, you'd probably wear these as slippers, wouldn't you? I can imagine somebody might wear those as like a house shoe, but they're a bit kind of hard underfoot um, for me to do that. <laughs> but maybe some people do, I don't know. Um, but yeah, very pleased with those. Another bargain. And then on to a little bit of PR. So those are all the um, bits that I got in terms of my secondhand stuff. I've got some um, lovely products here that Molten Brown very kindly sent over to me. And Molten Brown is a brand that I have loved for years. I think I discovered it through um, hotels. So I know that they use this, I think it's the in County Hall in the Marriott, they use Molten Brown products. Um, and whenever I've been in like the lobby of different hotels and they have this, I've always like washed my hands with a hand wash and absolutely loved it. They sent over the Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. So we have the Bath and Shower Gel here. And I feel so lucky um, that Molten Brown wants to send me some of these. I've got a few already in the bathroom and they're just such beautiful products, aren't they? They always smell incredible. They just smell so nice. It's really uplifting when you smell this. I can't wait to use this in the shower actually, because I just think it will set the mood for the day, this kind of scent. Really, really nice. And also we have the um, hand wash here. I think these make lovely gifts with um, Christmas coming up. I just think these are absolutely stunning. And then we also have the Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel Body Lotion as well. Their body lotions are lovely to use too. And they just smell really nice. So you kind of, if you put some on before you go to bed, you end up just um, going to bed and smelling amazing. <laughs> so. Very much looking forward to using these and they just look fab in the bathroom, don't they? I love the way they're all kind of different colours and I really like this kind of, well it does look a little bit like um, that kind of sea moss kind of colour. It's somewhere in between a green and a blue there. So I just thought as we were on the theme of luxury, I think these are definitely luxury products. The quality of these is so lovely. I think they must use real kind of essential oils in these because they always just smell so punchy and they feel so nice to use. I feel like they're very moisturising um, shower gels, so yeah. Oh, absolutely delightful. Do give this one a sniff if you've got a Molten Brown store near to you or um, at the counter. I highly recommend that one. It smells like, you know, that really s fresh kind of sea smell. Almost like a little bit sort of sea salty. Yeah, coastal cypress and sea fennel. Oh, it's like fresh air, fresh air, fresh sea air. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Molten Brown. Really appreciate that. And I look forward to using those. Um, so those are all the bits that I've got to show you. Let me know um, which was your favourite item 
I think mine is probably definitely my new um, pouch, which I will really look forward to taking with me on my travels and when I'm filming. And I feel like it's slightly, ever so slightly bigger than the one I had previously. I feel like the other one curved in a bit, like they'd scrimped on the top corner. So I feel like I need to stack this one a little bit more and get a bit more into there. So yeah, do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, do subscribe for brand new videos every single week. I have to say I am loving Vinted, eBay, all of those kind of sites at the moment. So I might bring you another kind of um, Vinted or secondhand online buying video again soon. If you would like a theme for that one, let me know if there's anything, maybe not um, designer again, I feel like I need to <laughs> stop with the designer for a bit, but maybe maybe we'll do a bit of Christmas, or maybe we'll do, I don't know, I'll have a think. If there's any themes that you want in terms of secondhand buying videos, um, do let me know, because I just enjoy it so much. And when you buy on Vintage, you can also sell on there too. So it's kind of like, if you are wanting to add some designer pieces to your wardrobe, I feel like it's a really good way that you can do it, because you can sell a few bits keep the money in your account and then splash out on one thing that's really lovely. So a great incentive to declutter and treat yourself or somebody else to something lovely. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Do let me know what your favourite item was and don't forget to let me know in the comments where you're watching from and if you had a beverage, let me know um, what that one was while you were watching the video. But enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this. I hope you have a lovely few days ahead and I will see you very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.